dear students so we were discussing about decisions under uncertainty different criterion that comes under decisions under uncertainty okay so we discussed about the laplace criterion criterion of optimism criterion of pessimism mini max regret criterion and now today we are finally going to discuss about howitz criterion or the last criterion that is criterion of realism it is also called weighted average criterion depending upon the question we can categorize uh, that question as two different type of problem that is one is maximization problem and minimization problem when it comes under Howitz criterion okay now we will discuss each in detail so first consider a payoff matrix so whenever a payoff matrix is given we have to go for maximization problem okay for maximization problem there is one particular formula for uh, calculating the weighted outcome and again for minimization problem the formula will be different so you have to be careful while you are solving first you need to identify what type of problem it is so whenever a payoff matrix is given we go for maximization problem okay now consider this particular question and this question a payoff matrix is given and the alpha value is also given okay so let's uh, see how we are going to solve this using Howitz criteria now you have four events n1 n2 n3 and n4 and you have four different strategies or alternatives for solving each event okay so that is s1 s2 s3 and s4 so four different alternatives and four different events okay so here whenever it comes to the Howitz criterion the first thing that you need to do is you need to find the maximum value of a particular alternative and you need to also find the minimum value of the same alternative so for each and every alternative you need to identify the maximum and minimum value first then we will use the formula okay so here in this particular uh, alternative that is s1 the first strategy which is the maximum value 1000 1500 750 and 0 here the maximum value is 1500 and the minimum value is 0 now again s2 the maximum value is 3750 and the minimum value is 250 then uh, s3 the maximum value is 4750 and the minimum value is minus 500 here in s4 the maximum value is 4000 and the minimum value is minus 1250 okay so we have identified the maximum and minimum value for each and every strategy now here in the question alpha value is already given okay that is 0.6 in some questions alpha value will not be given so in that case you need to assume that alpha value is 0.5 now in this question alpha value is already given so you have to take this particular value that is 0.6 now we have a formula for the maximization problem in case of Horowitz criterion under maximization problem the weighted outcome is found using this formula that is alpha into maximum value plus 1 minus alpha into minimum value okay again you have to be very careful this is for maximization problem for minimization problem the weighted outcome formula is different so here in weighted outcome for maximization problem the formula is alpha into maximum value plus 1 minus alpha into minimum value already the alpha value is given that is 0.6 so for each and every strategy we are going to find the weighted outcome okay so for s1 how we will find the weighted outcome using this formula what is alpha value alpha value is 0 0.6 0 0.6 into maximum value in s1 the maximum value is 1500 okay plus then 1 minus alpha that is 1 minus 0 0.6 into minimum value minimum value is 0 okay so what will be the answer 0 0.6 into 1500 will give you 900 plus 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4 0 0.4 into 0 is 0 so finally you get 900 as the value so you can write 900 here okay so corresponding to s1 you put 900 then s2 similarly 0 0.6 into the maximum value is 3750 plus 1 minus 0 0.6 is 0 0.4 into minimum value is 250 correct so 250 so you will get 0 0.6 into 3750 is 2250 plus 0 0.4 into 250 will give you how much 100 so you will get 2350 
fifty. So you can put two thousand three hundred and fifty here. Okay. Then S three again point six into maximum value is four thousand seven fifty plus point four point four into minus five hundred. Okay. So finally you will get two thousand eight hundred and fifty minus two hundred, which is equal to 2650 so 2650 then s4.6 into 4000 plus 0.4 into minus 1250 so this will give you 2400 minus 500 which will give you 1900 so you put 1900 here so you got all the w uh, wo values that is weighted outcome values for each and every strategies now remember this is a maximization problem and a payoff matrix is given so we have to find the maximum weighted outcome so out of this which is a maximum weighted out um, maximum weighted outcome 900 2350 2650 and 1900 so 2650 is the maximum weighted outcome and this is corresponding to s3 Therefore, we can say that S3 is the best alternative. Alternative. Okay. So, S3 is the best alternative. Clear? So, according to the maximization problem, uh, according to Hurwitz criterion, this S3 is the best alternative in this particular problem. Clear? Okay. Now, similarly, when it comes to the minimization problem so let's discuss the minimization problem i have taken the same values okay and in this minimization problem the alpha value is not given okay here we have only the cost matrix whenever whenever cost matrix is given you have to consider minimization problem so you have to assume that this is a cost matrix as i have told you before if the alpha value is not given you have to assume the alpha value as 0.5 okay and here for Hurwitz criterion, the range of alpha value is from 0 to 1. Range of alpha value is from 0 to 1. If alpha value is not given in a problem, you have to assume it as 0.5 by default. Okay. Now here, again, when, when it comes to the minimization problem, similarly, just like the maximization problem, you have to find the minimum value and the maximum value. Okay. So first, we will find the minimum value and then the maximum value. For S1, the minimum value is 0. Maximum value is 1500 for s2 the minimum value is 250 maximum value is 3750 then minimum is minus 500 and here it is 4750 and here also the minimum value is minus 1250 and maximum value is 4000 okay now in minimization problem the formula for weighted outcome is different here the weighted outcome is equal to alpha into minimum plus 1 minus alpha into maximum there it was the reverse case here in case of maximization problem the um, the formula was weighted outcome is equal to alpha into maximum plus 1 minus alpha into minimum so here you have to remember in this way first in maximization problem first you write the maximum value minimum value so first value is multiplied by alpha second value is multiplied by 1 minus alpha in case of minimization problem you write the minimum value first and then write the maximum value so alpha into the first term 1 minus alpha into the second term. okay here so here weighted outcome is equal to alpha into minimum value plus 1 minus alpha into maximum value okay so for each and every alternative you need to find the weighted outcome so s1 here alpha value you have to assume assume alpha is equal to 0.5 okay because it is not given so here alpha is 0 0.5 into minimum value minimum value is 0 plus 1 minus 0 0.5 into maximum value that is 1500 so what is 1 minus 0 0.5 that is again 0 0.5 so here when it comes to the minimization values you will get the first one as this is this term is 0 so you write 0 plus 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 into 1500 will give you 750 so the value is 750 okay then s2 similarly 0 0.5 into 250 plus 
point five into three thousand seven fifty, which will give you one thousand sorry one hundred and twenty five plus one thousand eight hundred and seventy five, which is equal to two thousand. Then S three is again point five into minus five hundred plus point five into four thousand seven fifty, which will give you minus two fifty into sorry two fifty plus two thousand three hundred and seventy five, which will give you two thousand one hundred and twenty five. Then Point five into S four. It's minus one thousand two fifty plus point five into four hundred, which will give you minus six twenty five plus two thousand, which is equal to one thousand three hundred and seventy five. Okay, so you can write all these values here. The first for S one, it is seven fifty. S two, it is two thousand. S three it is two thousand one hundred and twenty five and S four it is one thousand three hundred and seventy five. Now see this is a minimization problem. Whenever it is a minimization problem, you have to go for the minimum value. Which is the minimum value? Seven fifty two thousand two thousand one hundred and twenty five one thousand three hundred and seventy five. So the first one that is seven fifty and the strategy corresponding to seven fifty is S one. Therefore. We can say that S one is the best solution or the best decisions which decision which is to be implemented. I hope this is clear to you. So here, in in case of Harvard's criterion, first identify which type of problem it is, and if it is a maximization problem, if it is a payoff matrix, it is a maximization problem. And for maximization problem, weighted outcome is equal to alpha into maximum value plus one minus alpha into minimum value. So you have to find the weighted outcome for each and select the maximum weighted outcome. Okay. If alpha value is not given, then you have to assume it as point five. Similarly, in case of minimization problem, also same way. First, you need to find uh, the alpha. If the alpha value is given, then that has to be taken. Otherwise, you have to assume it as point five. And for weighted outcome for minimization problem, it is alpha into minimum value plus one minus alpha into maximum value. So whenever a cost matrix is given, you have to go for the minimization problem. Apply the formula, and once you get the weighted outcome, select the minimum value out of that. And the strategy corresponding to that particular minimum value will be the best solution. Hope it is clear to you. Thank you.